The tales you are about to witness will chill you to your very core. Dare you enter the Vault of the Macabre. <laughs> Betty Rose Nivens did love Halloween. She loved giving candy and hearing children scream. She carved out her pumpkins with love and with care, and hung ghosts and goblins up over the stair. When her doorbell would ring, and the kids trick or treat, mountains of candy she gave them to eat. But Betty Rose Nivens was not what she seemed, as the candy she gave them was ever so mean. The chocolate bar stuffed with sharp razor blades and cookies with arsenic, she lives. For Betty, you see, did love Halloween, but the children it brought, she'd rather not seen. So every year on October the 31st, Betty Rose Nivens, her cupboards would burst with poisons and potions and other foul treats to feed to the children buried inside their sweets. All this she did was incredibly mean so all Miss Nivens could enjoy Halloween. Nathaniel Jones was just like you or I. Everyone said he was a really sweet guy. But secretly, Nathaniel heard voices in his head. Voices that told him certain people should be dead. As it turns out, Nathaniel was a serial killer. He'd strangle your neck or pull out your liver. He's a really nice guy. It's just a shame he's a killer. On a dark and crisp October Eve, at the stroke of midnight, I believe, as the fall leaves danced upon the breeze around the house upon the hill. In the dead of night, the moon aglow, a man arrived all cloaked in shadow, entreating entry till the morrow at the house upon the hill. At this hour's ungodly disruption, please do forgive my interruption, but my car, you see, has malfunctioned by the house upon the hill. The master of the house then greeted, and the stranger brought in and seated. To his wife their guest's misfortune, he repeated, in the house upon the hill. Barely an hour there he stayed, before quite clear intentions made, as havoc he wreaked with his blade in the house upon the hill. He took the lives of the lord and lady, and then that of the stately baby, and some say thereafter stayed he in the house upon the hill. And now the years they have faded, some say in the darkness baited, sits the visitor calmly waiting in the house upon the hill. In the same clothes that day wore he, sitting waiting, sitting watching, for some visitor to explore the house upon the hill. So this Halloween, when out trick or treating, this stark warning is worth repeating. Refrain from any such season's greetings at the house upon the hill. For you too may find that there is a stranger born of chaos and sadness, entombed forever in the lonely madness of the house 